Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Olivia and I'm a fashion and styling content creator on Instagram. So today I've done another Zara haul for you guys. I realized that my last video was a Zara haul, but I'm on the hunt for a New Year's Eve outfit and I wanted to get this uploaded ahead of the Boxing Day sale so you guys have time to buy for New Year as well. So this is all mainly party wear. I've got um, one coat and a perfume, but all the rest is like party dresses, cute tops and skirts, and then a pair of heels. I'm also gonna do a try on section as well that'll come up here where you can see how the pieces look on. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do that. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming soon. And um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave a link to that in the description box to see how I style up all these pieces. For size reference, I'm a UK size six and I'm five foot seven. And yeah, let's get into it. We've got quite a lot to get through, so I'm gonna try and get through it pretty quick. So first up, I got this really nice long sleeved sequin top. It's a deep V. With this, you probably will need a low cut bra. Um, I have got one, but I can't remember where I got it from. But if you just Google a low cut or deep V bra, there'll be loads of ones that come available. So just one of them with this would be absolutely fine. Um, I paired this with high-waisted wide leg black trousers, which I think complement it really well. Just something a bit more minimal to go with such a jazzy top is what I would wear personally. And then probably just some sparkly shoes and a plain black bag would look really nice for this. And then if you're going to be outside, just throw a black coat over the top and you're good to go. Um, size wise, this did come up big, but only because I got a bigger size because it told me to get a bigger size. So I'm normally extra small and I got this in a small. So if you want this, just stick to your normal size and it'll be perfect. Uh, and this is $27.99. So it's not too bad, I don't think. I do really like the, um, the sequins as well. It's not like all over sequins. The material itself is like a sparkly silver material and then the sequins have been sewn on in this like snake pattern, which is a bit different. I also got this corset top. I love this so much. It's I think it's one of the newer things that's come into the Zara website. It's just something with just a little bit of sparkle all around the, the top here, I think is so nice. I also paired this with wide leg trousers and I actually paired it with a black blazer. How much was this one? This one's 19.99, so it's really affordable. It fit really well. I got it in a size small, but it's only available small, medium and large. But yeah, I think this one is really gorgeous and it's got boning all along the front. So it feels really good quality. Um, and the diamantes along the top, they look absolutely gorgeous in the light. I don't know if you can see it very well because um, it's quite bright in here. I've had to put all the lights on, but yeah, it's um, it just feels really good quality. And I love the extra bit of detail here. I like a bit of sparkle, but not too much. So this sort of thing is perfect for me. Um, and I actually got some heels that mat that are basically the same as this in on the shoe, so they match really perfectly. But yeah, for me, this may be a contender for New Year. Just a, a little bit of sparkle that you're going to wear again and again, and it just looks so expensive. I really like that one. Next up, I'll show you these sequin shorts I got. These I got in an extra small, and they were $27.99. I really like these on the website, but when I got them, unfortunately, they are too big. So if you're a UK size six like me, these will be too big on you. But these I thought would look really nice just with a plain bandeau black top that I have and um, a large blazer just on the top with just black heels. Just I don't know if you can tell, but I, I like a lot of black. So yeah, I thought that would look really good. But unfortunately, it is too big. So I've actually ordered something else which fits better, which is a similar vibe. But yeah, I really like just the black sequins. I also um, think that it's just something a bit special, but not too much sparkle. But they're also $27.99, so it's not too expensive, but the next one I'm gonna show you, I really love, but that one is quite expensive. So I think this is a really good, cheaper alternative to the next thing I'm gonna show you. Okay, so next up, this I think is my favorite piece of the whole haul. I think this is a strong contender for New Year's Eve, but let me know what you think. I'm so in love with it. Yeah, so it's a sequin skirt. It is expensive. This is $79.99 and I got it in an extra small. So it's the same sort of vibe that I was originally had planned for the shorts, but they are way too big on me. But I am obsessed with this feather. I believe this is ostrich feathers. 
and it just adds something so extra to this that I'm obsessed with and it fits so much better as well. The only thing with this is it's a little bit big like on the top waist section. It just could do being a little bit tighter on me here but it fits pretty tight though, like everywhere else which is annoying because for the amount of money that this is like you want it to be absolutely perfect so um, I do really think other than that like it is everything I want the fit everywhere is, is pretty good it's just this bit could do a little bit being a little bit tighter I think what I might do with this is maybe wait to see if it goes in the Boxing Day sale and then I might try and get it discounted and then I, it won't bother me as much that it doesn't fit perfect this the detail on this is so good like the, it's got ruching all along it's a really flattering fit and um, I do think it is it would be worth the money if if you love this I would 100% recommend it next up is a bit of a wild card for me like to be honest this isn't really my go-to style this is very out there but I did I just saw this on the website and I saw it on a few influencers on Instagram and I thought it looked really nice but in person I haven't tried this one on yet so I don't know how it fits but I don't think I'm gonna keep it just because it's very statement and I don't think I get much wear out of it. It's, it's not really something I can see myself re-wearing really again and again. Um, but also, I'm not that keen on the actual fabric. It feels like paper. It feels like nothing, I've, like no fabric I've ever felt before. But to me, it, oh, it feels quite cheap, which is a shame. I mean, it wasn't like that expensive. Let me have a look. It was twenty nine ninety nine, so it's pretty affordable. But I just, I really don't like the feel. I wonder if you can hear. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like crispy. It, it feels like paper. It's like, it's like a, it's like a present. Maybe that's the vibe they were going for. They want you to look like, like you're wrapped up in Christmas paper. But yeah, I haven't tried this on yet, so you'll see it in the cutaway better. I don't know how it fits. I got it in extra small, I think. Oh no, I got it in a small. I think the extra small was out of stock. So I got it in a small, so we'll see how it fits. Next up, I've got these amazing shoes. I don't know if you guys have seen on Zara lately, but they are absolutely killing it with their shoes at the minute for New Year. These ones I'm so in love with. They were, they were 59.99, so this is expensive, I think, for some nice heels. Also, one thing I would be a bit worried about is the um, Diamantes. It looks like they're just stuck on. They send you a bag with like extras, which makes me think they're just gonna come flying off when you're wearing it, especially the ones on the toe. Um, and when you're paying like 60 quid for shoes, you don't wanna just wear them out and then all the sparkles come off. So that's one thing I'm a bit worried about. They've got this um, ankle strap here as well. You can't really see because it's falling back. But I really like them. I do think they're really stunning and they're a strong contender for me on New Year. Especially with the feather skirt, I tried this on and I just thought they just added so much to the outfit. Um, so yeah, I do really like these. These also fit really well. They just fit true to size. I'm a size four on my feet and these fit perfectly. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen it as well. The designer shoes that um, everyone's going mad for at the minute with the big bows on the front. I can't remember what the designer's name is off the top of my head, but um, everyone's going mad for them. I know a lot of designer shoes as well at the minute are coming out with sparkly ones. So I do think these are a really good, cheaper alternative to the designer one. I would just be a bit worried about knocking these off. But if you think it's worth the risk, I might keep them myself. I do really love them. So yeah, you might see me styling these up on my Instagram for New Year. Uh, the last fashion piece I've got is the coat that I mentioned at the start of the video. This coat is probably the style of like the it coat this season, the structured shoulders sort of suit jacket coat. Um, I really like this. I actually got this in the Cyber Week sale. I think it was Cyber Monday, they had their sale on. And it was originally, I don't know if it says the price, yeah, it was originally £129 and I got this for £77 in the sale, which is such a bargain. I got it in a size small as well, so I sized up one and I do think that's more than enough for me. It is quite a boxy fit, I wouldn't really want it any bigger, but I absolutely love this. I'm definitely going to keep this. 
I would recommend it as well. It also comes in black and I've seen they've brought it out in the really bright like Bottega Veneta-esque green, which isn't my vibe, but if anyone is after that, go get it. I'm sure it would look gorgeous on. Um, but yeah, this I probably, I mean, I would pair it with anything, like an all black outfit would look so nice or equally like an all neutrals outfit, some another like layers of brown in there would look really nice. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this. It feels really good quality as well. It's really thick. It's got lining in it. It just is definitely something that you're going to wear every year and just bring it out again and again. So I'm definitely happy with this purchase. And the last thing I picked up was the perfume. I got um, Red Temptation, which is a copy of Baccarat Rouge, which I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but it's a really expensive designer perfume. Let me check how much it is. Yeah, the original one is £215. So this one was £17.99. It honestly smells the exact same. To me, it's sort of the original one and this, it's really got a hint of strawberries to it, which I really love. It's so unique but it's also got a musk to it. It's um, it's a unisex fragrance. So my boyfriend's actually got the uh, another copy of Baccarat Rouge from another company. Um, his was more expensive than this, but it smells so good. And from him wearing it, I was just like, when I found out it was unisex, I was like, I'm getting the Zara Duke. Yeah, and it was, uh, this one's a lot bigger than his and it was a lot cheaper. So, <laughs> so the 215 one for 17.99 for a dupe that smells exactly the same, I know which one I'd get. So that's everything. Well done if you got to the end. I think for New Year, it's a toss up between the corset with a diamante along the bust with some wide leg black trousers and a black blazer on the top and then some strappy black heels or either the more expensive sequin skirt with the ostrich feather with a black bandeau top, plain black bandeau top and then a oversized blazer as well. And also these heels with that let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite what do you think i should wear for new year and will you be buying anything to try yourself if you like the video please hit the like and subscribe button below i'm definitely going to be back with lots more videos not just sarah hauls even though i've done two together just now but it's because i've just been buying for particular occasions like my birthday was my last video and now i'm looking for new years so yeah, and if you want to see how I style up all these pieces, then follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that in the description box below. And thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.